Neves Knives. I'm Jared and today we are checking out some minimalist EDC knives that are really clean and simple. Let's check them out. Number one, the Urban EDC F5.5. I can't help but think that this is such a good looking EDC knife. Now, it does come in multiple different versions. This one is the brown micarta version with its sheep's foot style M390 blade. Beautiful satin finish. The micarta is extremely good quality. Titanium liner and titanium deep carry clip and backspacer. So we have premium materials here and this is produced, I believe it's OEM'd by React and React does an incredible job. This knife is no exception. It is extremely, extremely well done. The action is very easy to deploy and it's nice and comfortable in the hand, not too big, not too small, and it goes really well with just about any EDC. Number two, the Kun Wu Zen in Elmac steel, titanium with a Timascus pivot collar. We have a full titanium frame lock, backspacer, and pocket clip. And, you know, it does have the little pop of color with the Timascus, but the scales is kind of the showpiece here. It has an orange peeled finish over the flat of the scales and then a blasted finish on the chamfered edges that makes it look really good. It makes it stand out that little bit. Plus it has multiple forms of deployment from the reverse flick, top flip, and a regular flipper. So multiple forms of deployment, lots of ways to um, open this knife and it, you know it's good looking. It, it, it's simple clean yet it does have a little something to it that kind of adds to it to to give it a little bit more character so it's not too plain jane the kun wu zen and elmac steel here at neves knives our goal is to constantly share great knife purchases with our audiences audience <laughs> but what do you do when you have to sell a knife because everybody always asks us where do we sell our knives? Well, now that would be today's video sponsor, KnifeSale.com. Prior to knife sale, people had limited options of where to sell knives, such as sending them to YouTubers, Etsy, eBay, or using your personal social media and forum sites. None of those options offer a simple and consistent, risk-free way to sell your knives. With knife sale, you are able to list your knives with no subscriptions or upfront fees. You pay a small 7.5% of your item's sale price, but only if it sells. The payouts are received fast and the shipping costs are low to ensure you get the most out of your knife selling experience. In addition, you never have to deal with the hassle of bids or trusting people you don't know to get exposure for your knives again. Safety for the sellers and the consumers is number one at knife sale. Purchased items that are not received are refunded 100% to the buyer. Seller protection exists for lost shipments or seized items by customs. The seller gets paid and responsibility is taken by knife sale, so it's a win-win. They also offer incredible customer service, including a live chat option, as well as a promise to help dissatisfied customers or people who received damaged goods. Please check out the link in the description and visit knifesale.com. Here at Neves Knives, we believe that there is no other service that compares when trying to sell your knife safely, quickly, and affordably. Now back to the video, bang, bang. Number three, the Kaiser Drop Bear. What a good looking knife. In my opinion, I think it's a really, really good looking knife. It has 154 CM steel aluminum handles. There's two different versions. One of them comes with purple thumb studs, but the regular version is the one we're kind of looking at today because it is a very simple, clean, good looking EDC, good ergonomics with the aluminum handle, and it has Kaiser's new clutch lock that is an adjustable crossbar lock. So you can adjust the tension and the strength, and it also comes with extra omega springs that are a little bit thicker to create a little bit more tension as well. But good looking knife, great blade shape. Um, you know, it's a, a versatile knife that's going to work well in most situations. And we all know that a crossbar lock is a very strong and reliable lock. 
very fidgety. So not only is it a reliable, strong lock, but it's also fun to flip. Number four, the Wii Coolix. So this is the button lock Coolix in 20 CV steel and titanium. So this is a titanium button lock. Deep carry clip that is reversible, T8 hardware, T8 titanium hardware all the way around, multiple forms of deployment. You have the flipper, which works extremely well. We has tuned their detent from the button lock extremely, extremely well. You have the thumb stud action, also really good. And because it's a button lock, it is very, very drop shutty and fidgety it is riding on ceramic caged bearings and it's simple it's clean it's good looking it's something that goes good with any edc now there is different versions most of the knives on this list have multiple versions not all of them but a, a lot of them including this one you know so you can get the color that best suits your edc everyday carry number five the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Now, this one doesn't have multiple options, at least not that I know of. But it's about as simple and clean as you can get for an EDC knife. And it's completely corrosion proof, so you're not going to have to worry about corrosion, rust, or you know what you're cutting and whether or not it's going to patina your blade. It is about as stainless as it gets while also still being a super steel. So it has a great edge retention. It takes a really sharp edge. In this case, it has titanium scales and an LC200N liner. The LC200N liner locks this thing up rock solid. And it is small. Yet it's not too small, but it's slim smaller yet a full size knife and that's kind of the beauty of it it takes up no real estate in your pocket it comfortably goes in and out of the pocket with its deep carry wire clip that is reversible and it's very snappy with its thumb stud action riding on phosphor bronze washers it is very very smooth very sleek and damn good looking the van x steel that's on this it has a deep hollow grind also on a very thin blade stock i think it's 90 thousandths thick and it has a nice hollow grind so the cutting geometry is amazing on the quiet carry waypoints number six the CJRB Feldspar Titanium Frame Lock. Now this one, I'm probably not gonna be able to link down below. I can link its, its brother, which is a more affordable option. This one's a titanium frame lock. You have to go to Artisan's website to get this, but this it does come in many different options, including a very budget-friendly option for, I think it's under 40 bucks. You can get the D2 and G10 option. And then there's also the ARRPM9 one with the beauty Beautiful micarta, really, really good micarta. But this one is the titanium frame lock with micro milling. It has micro milling all over it, and it just looks so clean, so good, so simple. Um, and that's the beauty of it. It's a simple EDC knife that just works. Great thumb stud action very snappy it is riding on ceramic caged bearings and in this case we have s35 vn blade steel and obviously a full titanium frame lock with a deep or not deep carry sorry a milled titanium pocket clip the cjrb feldspar has been known to be a a good, reliable EDC knife that's very affordable. Now this one does pump up the price tag quite a bit, putting premium materials on it. But I absolutely love it. And then they add a little pop of color with the brass pivot collar. Number seven, the Wii Subjugator. Now this one has been one of my, my favorites uh, from Wii. It's an incredible EDC knife. I love the simple spear point-ish drop point blade, 20 CV steel 
that did take an incredibly sharp mirror polished edge. Titanium frame lock, and this one does come in many different options. So there are different colors to fit your EDC. Deep carry reversible clip, titanium T8 hardware all the way around, and it has multiple forms of deployment. You have the flipper that's very snappy. They tune the detent on this very, very well. And the thumb stud action. Now it is riding on ceramic caged bearings and it has internal stop pins. So the internal stop pins lock up super solid. This thing has a really nice sound to it. You can really feel and hear the lock and gauge on this one. It does have a tough feeling to it while also being nice and useful with its ergonomics, blade shape, and simple design. Number eight, the Migoron Pagos 2. Now this is the number two version that does not have the carbon fiber inlay, but they do have the version with a carbon fiber inlay on both sides. Now this one has titanium that is micro milled with these beautiful micro milling that makes it really pop. It has a little pop of color and the blade steel is M390. It's a straight back blade, big belly, and it is a relatively small knife, yet you can get a full four finger grip. Multiple forms of deployment. You have the, flip, the front flipper that has really good jimping on it and works very well. Then you have the thumb stud action that you can reverse flick or flick with your thumb. A simple clean EDC that, that just, it just looks good. It looks really good with just about anything that you're carrying in your pocket. Titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. And yeah, like I said, there are a couple different versions of this if you like a little bit of carbon fiber with your titanium. Before we move forward, let's check out a couple honorable mentions. One of them is the Laconico Keen. We couldn't do this list without the Ray Laconico Keen. I've shown it quite a bit on the channel, so I wanted to go through it pretty quick. You guys know about this knife. Beautiful knife. Um, a really, really, really good EDC knife. It comes in S35VN blade steel, titanium frame lock, backspacer, and milled pocket clip. It does have a steel lock bar insert and titanium hardware that the titanium hardware that matches the color that you choose and it does come in a couple different options super snappy with its flipping action and even though it is only a primarily flipper you can reverse flick off of the stone wash if you're good at reverse flicking but very ergonomic very simple spear point blade good looking and it's just super useful it's an EDC knife that's very versatile and can handle just about anything you throw at it. And then next, the Tactile Rock Wall as another honorable mention. Magna Cut Steel, USA made. Titanium scales with beautiful micro milling. Now you can get this with its brother, which is the Bear. And it also comes with its own sheath and pen if you want to buy this combination. Beautiful little slip joint knife, USA made, also with the micro milling, magna cut steel, extremely thin blade stock and grind, very, very slicey. The sheath is really good quality leather, and then you have a USA made pen with the same micro milling on the pen that looks really, really good. But taking that away and just talking about the rock wall, Thumb stud action. It is a smaller knife, yet you do have basically a, it's a full size knife while also being small. You have a very capable EDC knife here. The thumb stud action works really good. The, the way they chamfered the titanium makes it very easy to get to the thumb studs. Very drop shutty. Um, yeah, very clean, good looking, micro milling on the titanium that adds a little bit of a pop to it and a little bit of texture when it's in your hand, but good looking, simple, but very useful. And then number nine, 
the Riat Gent number nine. <laughs> nine for nine. So we have the Riat Gent number nine in the nine spot. It is a flipper deployment knife, an M390 steel with a titanium frame lock. Now, it is probably the, the most exciting looking knife on the list because it has these vents milled out. It does have some straight lines. So it's, it's not as simple as some of the other knives on the list. However, it has no hardware. So it, the only hardware you see on it is the pivot on one side, not even the clip has a screw showing. So basically the way you take this knife apart, aside from taking the pivot out, is you have a tool that comes with the knife and the back spacer spins. You spin this piece right here a couple times or once or tw twice and the scales pop apart. So I do have a full video on this if you wanna see it. I'll, I'll pin it up here in the corner, but it is a Riet made knife, and if you guys don't know, Riet makes some of the best quality knives on the planet. Super snappy action. Pretty ergonomic. It does have the, you know, the, the unique uh, handle shape, but it does work out really good in the hand and you can choke up. Deep hollow grind on this M390 blade with a beautiful swedge on the top. Very thick crowned spine so it's going to be very durable while also very slicey and acute for utility cuts good looking edc and with the vents on it and the back spacers i should say it does make it look somewhat race car-ish and like it's going really fast just standing still but i still think it's a very clean design and it's pretty simple still even though it's not as simple as some of the other knives on the list. And then last, number 10, the Kaiser Original. These come in multiple different versions. 154 CM blade steel. Now there is a, um, a few different options. There's aluminum. And then you can also get copper. I think they, I'm not positive, but they might have another version as well. Either way, this one is the aluminum one with the gunmetal gray aluminum. It is a button lock action. Small, compact, simple, very, very smooth, very easy to manipulate. Then the copper version is the same thing, just with a little bit more weight because of the copper. The copper is kind of black washed, so it has a, um, a black stone wash um, coating or finish to it that does make it look good. It makes it look a little bit more antiqued. The action is amazing on these, and these have a very solid feeling to them. The copper, uh, the ones are milled out though to bring down some of the weight but it is still a bit heavier than the aluminum version the aluminum versions do not have any weight relieving in them so it's a very solid feeling knife without being too heavy um, like i said the copper version does add some weight to it though but it's very simple straightforward knife even the lines are, are very um very simple it's not an extravagant design but it it's a damn good looking knife and it just works and that's kind of the beauty with simple and the kaiser original is a knife that just works really well with just about any edc there you guys go thank you guys for watching i love you guys peace